do we're gonna do an interview with everybody on we're up for uh, department nomination of the year for hey Genevieve Sienta for uh, for the for the company we're up for the department of the year so we're gonna interview each person and they're gonna kind of talk and say hi I'm Abbas. I, I work in housekeeping, this is why I think this is the best, well, I'll tell you guys about that later, but, come on. Alright, first thing guys, <laughs> today, <laughs> today, no, you, video, this is for uh, the other people. Alright, anyway, so today, that makes you hotter when you do that. So today, there's a little bit of rooms, right? No, less. No. <laughs> well, I mean, you have 11, 12 rooms, 8 rooms. It's not a lot for a Sunday. All right? No, you're right. It's not, it's no, no loco. No Gee, loco dia. Yes, no, oh yesterday yes, was yes, crazy. Was crazy yesterday, <laughs> see, see. Yesterday, <laughs> muy loco. All right, but today, it's nice. So, I gave you guys, we're, we're leaving 15 rooms that are dirty. So, everyone would normally have two or three checkouts more today, but I gave you guys less so that way we can do some extra cleaning in the rooms. Because the QA, Marriott comes in here in January and they're gonna look at everything in the rooms in January. And if, if we wait until the last minute, we'll fail. And the hotel will get in trouble, Mary will be pissed at us, it will be a nightmare. But if we do a little bit every day of these little projects, then we'll be ready, it'll be perfect. So. This, in this bottle, this is vinegar, all right? This is a little vinegar that uh, we have the huge jugs of it. So this was actually Abbas's idea to put in this little jug. Uh, I know Rosa has it in the, and Kujay have it in the big spray bottles, or, or just Kujay. Um, so, and Rochelle, you only need a little bit of this. So this will get any of the white stuff on the silverware or the pots and pans off, all right? So for this room, and also in the sinks here too. You just squirt a little bit. But see this right here? If everybody could come come close and just kind of look at this. Um, so all you're gonna do is all this white stuff here, you're just gonna squirt a little bit just like that, right? Okay. And you can wet this a little bit with hot water. And you don't have to scrub too hard or anything crazy. Mm -hmm. Just the, the green part of the sponge will take all that stuff right out and make this look brand new. So it only takes a second. And you don't have to do this every day. Okay. If you do this once a week, once a month. Run, why you don't run the dishwasher with it? Well, yeah, after you clean this, you can run the dishwasher if you want. But the Vinegar. You well, you, you, you put the vinegar on like the that. It's a soap. And you run it with hot water and it's just the same result. Yeah, well we're just talking about ways to get this white stuff oh, off, okay. right? So, so you got all the white stuff off, so now it's clean. And then afterwards, if you want to run the dishwasher, you can. But that only takes a second to do. And again, you don't have to do it every single day. But also, if you want to make the sinks look, look brand new, just squirt a little bit in there like that and just hit it with the green sponge. And then, guys, see all around here? See, see the brown, like inside the drain, all the brown stuff? So this is going to make this look brand new. And, it only, and again, you don't have to do this every day. Just do this. Yeah, I mean, when you have time, like especially on these days. So if you notice the shine, and then see right here? See the difference between that and that? Yeah. So, all right, and then the silverware. So, guys, so today, take out all the silverware trays, take out all this stuff, spray the Windex, hit it with a rag. It only takes literally a second because when Marriott comes in, they're going to go like, literally, they're going to go like this. And then what, what they do is they put everything on the table, right? Yeah, and then look, so this... This would fail, because if you see all the white stuff around it, so see this part, can everyone see this? Mm -hmm. when, you, when you hit it with the vinegar, just, just literally like that much, mm -hmm. you just have to put, you don't need a lot. Um, and you literally just go like that, 
and it's going to make it look brand new. You can hit it on the black part too, all around here. But you guys have time to do this today because there's not too much crazy work. So, and then you can rinse it out with the with the green soap. All right. So see there, but see like right around here. This is what's going to take a little bit of time, like the stuff that's on the sides there. So you just got to wipe every part of it. But the good news is, you don't have to do this every day. Once a, once a month, once every week. Because if you do that every so often, you won't get all this white stuff on it. And then when the guest checks out, you put in the dishwasher and you don't have to scrub it. It just has to be scrubbed with the vinegar now because we haven't done it in so long. We haven't done it since like the summertime. So that's why. But... So this way when Marriott comes in, they, they pull this out, they're like, oh, it's clean. Then they're going to look to see if it's clean in here. Like, see all these guys? This will fail for this. So we're just, we're just trying to get caught up on this stuff. Um, and then, so, okay, all right, all right, and then the silverware. So same thing with the silverware. What I would do in your rooms is I would... I would put some silverware, yeah, exactly. Put some silverware in there. It's mainly gonna be on the, the forks and knives, but we haven't done this in a while. So see these knives? I mean, that looks nasty. All right, and then, so the other thing is, with the bathroom glasses, we have the new bathroom glasses, but also the white stuff on the bottom of the bathroom glass. Just put a little bit in, hit it with the green sp uh, sponge, rinse it out with the green soap afterwards. Um, so these, these are all dirty in the rooms pretty much. We haven't, cl we haven't cleaned these. And if you've been doing this, if you've been pulling these out, I know there's a couple people. If you've been pulling these out and polishing the silverware, well, thank you. All right. I don't know how many people have done it, but this today, you guys should be able to do this in the stairs and the checkouts because it's not a ton of rooms today. This only takes a couple minutes, mm -hmm. but once we get through this, then we're not going to have to do these, all these projects as much. Just you do it when you have time. When I have 6 D&D, when I have 3 D&D, then you have the opportunities to do that. You know, do a couple rooms a day, you know, especially if you have your own section. Um, but the vinegar is going to, going to make everything perfect. The, the coffee makers you can use in the bathtub. Just use a little bit because it does kind of smell a little bit. Um, if you have, if your kitchen floors don't look nice, you can use it on the kitchen floors. If the room smells like Indian food or something like that, <laughs> it, <laughs> the, the vinegar will help dissipate that smell. Uh -huh. All right, so it, it, it will be. With lemon too, help. Exactly, maybe we should look into getting lemon. But any, any kind of projects that you guys can do, just think about in the rooms. Okay. When you're in there every day, what, what haven't I done lately? Like, if you haven't cleaned the outside of the cabinets in a week or a month, do it, please. You know, especially like around here, it gets greasy, people's hands go everywhere. Spend time to do little things, like the light switches, um, you know, scrubbing the kitchen floor, all these kind of things, like chip away at it, so that way the whole room, we don't have to be embarrassed when Marriott comes in or scared. We want to be mentally prepared for that. Uh, but that, that's, that's really it. Just take the extra time so that way when Marriott comes here, they're not looking at like like this. You know what I mean? Um, but because yesterday I saw Rochelle working really hard to try to get everything perfect. To get everything perfect, you guys don't need to work that hard. Just use the vinegar to your advantage just a tiny bit. You know, after she saw the vinegar, she's like, oh, this is easier. You know, because credit to her, she was, spending, she was spending 20 minutes on a very dirty room, a very dirty checkout. Hey, wow. So you it saved. You did. You did. And you did a good job. But this will make it easier. All the white film, and they'll keep it shining. All right? Anyone have any questions about any of that? We need a gallon of vinegar. Everybody need a gallon of vinegar. <laughs> All right, so so that's it. But the scores, we're doing really well, guys. I just don't want all the hard work that we've done for this whole year to go in vain because our scores, the guests are all giving us great scores. You guys are doing a great job. But at the end of the end of January, end of December, 
one of which Marriott's going to come in here and go through our room, our, all the rooms, and I don't want all the hard work that we've done, that you guys have done, to be negated by us getting a bad inspection score. So that's why we got to do these little things. This is the most important time of the year. Although it's slow, this is when we're preparing for Marriott to come in. So uh, once we get through that, we'll have a huge celebration. All right, we got some fun things coming up. We have three parties in December. We have our housekeeping pizza party, as long as our scores stay good. Or and rice and beans we're going to have too. Uh, and then we have December 10th, we have the Christmas party. And December 23rd, we have the Secret Santa uh, potluck celebration feast. So that will be nice. All right. Um, what about this? Uh, what is the good thing to change? With the dishwasher? No, the, the little white... Well, this, I would use the vinegar tambien. I, I would use the same vinegar thing. Put it in the dishwasher. You can also put it in the dishwasher. But to, to shine it up, you can use the green soap, the green scrub pad. Alright. Um, one more thing. One more thing I'll show you guys. Um, and we might not have time to do it today because we're doing it in there. But... Abbas, stop it. Alright. So... So real quick, muchachos. Muchachos, muchachos. <laughs> All right, so no, just when you're doing the bathroom floor, we want to keep up with the baseboards here and, and these areas, the light switches, like the details, like right around here. Just, you know, and again, not necessarily every single day, but if I'm cleaning the floor, I'm going to spray down here as well, and I'm going to hit it real quick. There'll be days where you can, you don't want the dust to accumulate up here or in the corners here. So when you're down here on the floor, just hit that area too. Don't let this don't let this get too dirty for too long. I'm just saying don't forget about things in the rooms. Look around.